Hey guys, Dave with Tsunami Hydrographics here. Hey, today we're going to do a short video on jigging. Uh, my shop is set up with a rinse station of, uh, it's the size of a bathtub, so it's five feet wide, uh, 30 inches deep. So most of my jigs or receivers are set up for that, so I can use them with my dipping arm, uh, dip the multiple items, and then just put them in the rinse station. Uh, this particular one are the 12s. They're roughly two by two. Uh, 24 by 24 and we decided to speed up production and dip three at a time the tanks big enough so we thought that it would be beneficial so what we're bringing in here will be three twelves uh, we use pretty much most of the uh, 84 inches on the tank here uh, my son's giving me a hand today and uh, we've got a, a PVC jig it's uh, schedule 80 is the dark gray uh, with the different types of ends. Uh, most of that's glued together, but the straight parts are not. They're pinned in there. Uh, the straight uh, three pieces that actually screw to the back of that 12 are able to be removed so that the next three, there's my son acting up as usual, so that the next three will just be inserted into that jig. We can leave that on the dipping arm and then just put our three more in there uh, keep it kind of simple so this is the first time we've dipped them with three and we're going to actually look and make sure that we've got the proper angle and that we're not, we're not trapping air uh, we've got our activation gun set up properly and my daughter just walked in and scared the bejeebies out of all of us uh, we have a good time here there's no doubt about it uh, we enjoy the trade and uh, you got to enjoy what you do, guys. If you don't enjoy it, it's not it's not worth doing. Um, anyway, you can see that there's just uh, those are actually floor. I don't know, remember the name of them, but the the circles down at the bottom have two screws in them. Um, we just looked at our first one. We got a fantastic dip out of it. Real nice, clean, straight. Um, activation was pretty much dead on and there's the last one we just pulled off so we've got a handle for it that's the pipe in the back now here's the actual receiver it slides up into another uh, metal receiver there that's uh, bolted and then I've got adjustment in this pin here uh, there's five or six holes in that three-quarter by three-quarter that slide up into that one inch and uh, depending on the depth that we need for each item going in we've got plenty of versatility there that receiver there slides right to left and those uh, wing nuts will move the uh, objects forward or backward if necessary so it gives us all kinds of room not to mention the whole arm uh, base will roll back and forth on the back of the tank I've got it on wheels and if I need to adjust it real quick I can just push it or pull it going into the spray booth see we've got quite a bit going on in here there's 12s up there hanging off of some conduit there's just a two by four up there on each side of the room and uh, some holes drilled in it so that it'll receive the excuse me the conduit and uh, we hang our 12s up after we sprayed them I just sprayed those with an inner coat um, so back in the back of the room there you can see that there's more of the PVC receivers uh, they're all about the same size because that's rent station size and we just put the half inch uh, PVC piping is what we use for a handle for our objects and it also fits into the receivers there <clears throat> so uh, there's the first ones we just did they're all dry and we're there's a receiver down below it we're gonna set that up in tiers so that we'll have five or six of them and not taking up too much room just by changing the height of the PVC we can uh, pretty much consolidate them into a very small area um, there's more Seahawk heads there they're all in the same receiver so anyway, I hope this helped you guys out. This is Dave with Tsunami Hydrographics. You can always go to thccoatings.com. And uh, if you got any questions, give me a call. I'm always on my phone. Uh, and we're out.